wants to give our organization money for the tissue, like, I think that that's a valid exchange, and that that's okay. Vanessa Russo, a compliance program administrator for Planned Parenthood, in an undercover video produced by the Center for Medical Progress, uh, that video released earlier this year, and the administrator was saying money in exchange for fetal tissue is a fair exchange. That video and others like it raise a lot of questions about the abortion industry, which our next guest is determined to uncover. Tonight, from Newsmax, New York, we welcome in Representative Marsha Blackburn of Tennessee. Marsha also serves as vice chairman of the House Energy and Commerce Committee. And Marsha, we welcome you tonight here on Newsmax Prime, and thank you for your time. Understand good to be with you. It is good to have you, Marsha. Your panel is investigating the business practices of the abortion industry and tissue procurement organizations. You held your second hearing last week dealing with the pricing of fetal tissue. What did you learn in that hearing? Yeah, J.D., this is the Select Investigative Panel on Infant Lives. And what we have done is to hold two hearings, the first on bioethics of fetal tissue research, the second on the pricing of fetal tissue. We had three former U.S. attorneys come before us. The Democrats also had some witnesses. Everybody agreed that what we need to do is subpoena some of these procurement organizations, which we have done. And one of the Democrat witnesses said to uh, subpoena one of these specifically and have them bring their accounting records, which we've also, we have also done. But here is the nugget. We are looking at the abortion industry at large and their medical practices and the business practices of these procurement organizations and the relationship between the two. Somehow, even though it is against the law, it is against federal code. It is against the law, illegal, to sell baby body parts or to sell human body parts of any type. We have these groups that have websites. They set a price for these different organs. Uh, the morning of the hearing, we went to one of the procurement businesses website you could put in the length of gestation that you wanted this unborn baby to be you could put in if you wanted a liver or a heart or a lung or an arm or a scalp and then the price was listed it was like shopping on a retail website then you could proceed to check out you could pay for your purchase you could select your shipping method and then you had placed your order. Now, here's the thing. If within this framework of these procurement organizations, you have people that are setting a price and selling these, but yet the statute, uh, U.S. Code 43289G, and it tells you that it is illegal, how is it that they are doing this? They can recover the cost of that are related directly to the tissue donation, you know, organ donation. And, and this is, is precisely very my active. point, Marcia. Pardon the interruption. About a minute yeah. left, but obviously your job is oversight in uncovering this. It looks like there's a whole component right. for the Justice Department. Do you believe this Justice Department Department is so politicized that it looks the other way uh, on questions like this involving these types of organizations? Well, our job is to gather all the information and facts necessary, and then at the end of the year, when our committee will be out of existence, we will render a report and send back to the authorizing committees the information that we have found, and they will be the ones to take that action. The U.S. attorneys who were before us feel that there is enough evidence to do something to investigate further, and that's exactly what we're going to do so that we can find out exactly what's happening and unwind this situation. Marsha Blackburn, hard at work on this House Select Committee on Infant Lives, and in a lot of people's minds, that's associated with those disturbing videos concerning Planned Parenthood. Correct. Marsha, we thank you so much for your time tonight on Newsmax Prime. Up next, Johnny Moore and the scriptural basis for the apocalypse. Stay tuned.